we have worked together as a team and as friends, uh, especially at the top leadership. And uh, as I give you this, I hand over the ministerial policy statement. Indirectly, I'm handing over to you all the modes of transport <laughs> in Uganda. And while I give this, I have a simple request. We have tackled Uganda uh, air transport. The roads are many and they are functioning. The rail, the standard gauge rail is coming. We are sure the funds will be aside. We need to improve the water transport. I, we had a meeting with the ministers uh, who border with the, from the countries who border uh, Lake Victoria. And I believe we have a great um, attention that is coming. Uh, as you see in the report, even some players who have come in and are ready to put vessels on both Lake Victoria and, uh, and Lake Albert. And my request is that please put more money on inland water transport. It is the cheapest means of transport. And when I'm there and I see that happening, I will be saying, well done. <laughs> I could see the most attentive person on that one was Mr. Rukai. <laughs> when you talked about add more money. <laughs> and as I hand over, in a, a small way, I want to hand over the keys to the office, the keys to the car, it is well serviced and with fuel, the fuel cards, there is still money on it. Let me hand it over to Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Why am I in a hurry to hand over? And I thought I should clarify this. Long before this, I had applied to for leave uh, because of another assignment, personal, and it was approved by the Prime Minister. And I'm supposed to leave tomorrow. Not only that, I had a chat with uh, His Excellency the President, and he has cleared my going. So we thought it fit that I should hand over instead of go and then come and hand over, which would hamper um, the works and at the same time not send a good message. And as good co corporate governance, we should be ready to hand over any time, even if it is in one day. And that is why is happening. That is why we are meeting today, because I'll, I'll be away, away uh, tomorrow for a few weeks. It has been an honor and privilege to serve in this great ministry, the Ministry of Works and Transport. And I feel very proud to have been able to work and lead this very excellent team. I sincerely extend my gratitude to His Excellency the President of Uganda for having given me this opportunity to serve all of you, the people of Uganda, in a sector that aspires to improve the well-being of every single citizen directly. It has been an honor, it is an honor, and I thank His Excellency the President for having served this period. I have enjoyed my journey here as a minister, and I have cherished and appreciated every single effort and sacrifices made during my tenure here in the sector. Throughout this period, a lot of achievements have been made, not by me, but by all of you, and you have all supported me. They have been, many have been registered. These include uh, so many policies, laws, and regulations that have been approved, and many more under review and formulation. Cabinet decisions have been implemented, and all modes of, tra of transport line within the 2016-2021 NRM man manifesto. Notable achievements include, but are not limited to, 
to the revival of the Uganda Airline, for which I'm not shy to say I'm proud to have led. <laughs> the development of a safe and reliable road, inland water and air transport infrastructure, the Duca network and force account in supporting low cost transport connectivity in the rural areas to improve service <coughs> delivery. I want to sincerely appreciate the government of Uganda, our development partners, all the line MDAs, and all our key stakeholders that have continued to support the sector programs and activities throughout my tenure as the Minister of Works and Transport. And I do call upon all of you for your continued support and guidance to the sector and to the incoming minister. With the support of my dedicated team, the ministry was able to coordinate the sector to support other government sectors like energy and mineral development, trade and industry, agriculture and tourism. These are the areas that we have worked a lot where these are the growth areas where we have worked a lot uh, compared to other <coughs> ministries to drive the economy towards achieving the vision of a middle income status as guided by the national development agenda. While we've met a few challenges which have arisen along the way, we'll be meeting, we'll be consulting. Please leave your phone on. <laughs> yes. Don't change the number <laughs> because, yes, I've been following some of the projects. I've been following, uh, and, and, and again, I want to thank you for uh, grooming me to the ministry. How? You have tasked me many times. Do this, do that, do this, do the other. And that's what leadership is all about. Some people want to be selfish. They don't want to groom those below them. She has groomed me. And I'm very grateful for that. Because through the tasking, and then asking me, what has, can you, what has this, what, what, what is the result of this? What have we, where have we reached here? It has kept me on check. I never came in here with my shoulders of the general to impose myself, ma'am, and I, I never did that. And uh, I'll not do that because I know it's a different ball game here. You are not guys with chevrons and uh, pits on the shoulder. Uh, I'll be able to we'll be able to work together uh, in in your own uh, as we have worked together before. Finally, I want to also to thank the president, His Excellency the President, and uh, I'm grateful that he has been able to appoint me to this uh, responsibility. Of course, it's a it's a, it's a challenge. But uh, life without challenges is a bore. If, if there were no challenges, life would be very boring. So I'll, I'll take up the challenge. And uh, I'm calling upon all of you that we are left as a team. Let's fight. Let's work as a team and succeed together. Thank you very much. Prime Minister, Yanskiri Zangende. Uh, ne president na yoge deko na ye era na ye nanzikiriza ngende ngabala abantu chikulu nnyo chengendo kola era na yenga ate ne ticket na ali na mala doku bitereza kale ngate sobola kubisaza tenvude ngamba anti ni wangu badde chiro katumalirizo omukolo ogwo ku handing over general injere mu office ngali free ate nange ngende ngende jengenda ngate sera ali chanti ate ni no kudayo okumalize emirimu the Ministry of Works and Transport. We're just here. We'll be interacting, we'll be meeting, we'll be consulting. Please, leave your phone on. Yes, don't change the number. <laughs> because, yes, I've been following some of the projects. I've been following, uh, and, and, and again, I want to thank you for uh, grooming me to the ministry. How? You have tasked me many times. Do this, do that, do this, do the other. And that's what leadership is all about. Some people want to be